Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work together with nature. I'm always uh, in the process of thinking nature isn't doing anything. It is just what it is and that I'm doing all the work and nature is just coming along for the ride. But then I was thinking about all the processes inside the plants, inside animals, inside myself. A tremendous amount of energy spent to keep nature going. So, respect. Nature is working very hard and so are we. Another beautiful day. Foggy. I like it. The dogs are crazy again. But they must do their thing. I do these videos because um, I also have to hear myself, my thinking, my values, my progress, my failures. It's a beautiful medium. Thank you for the community who takes part and makes me part of a community. I don't make how-to videos. I don't try to explain what I do as a working model, as something that people should follow. Except the philosophy of loose natural. Try to see what nature is and Keep a loose mind, open mind, every day. Every day is new. This is the only thing I would like to share as a teaching. An open mind every day about everything. Each human person has a story. We live according our stories. We can call it religion or society or being educated. But somehow we believe something, even if we change it regularly. But we live according some pattern, a mental pattern for, even if it's for a day. And uh, my story for this land is uh, perhaps the paradise story that one finds in all scriptures, all religions, all tribal people. Doesn't matter who you are, there is some concept of paradise. And uh, Paradise where we can eat from the trees and then also paradise has its disappointing moments, its revelations, its enlightening, its new moments. Things that didn't work. Here is a hole and uh, there was a tree planted there was some compost put in the hole some mulch it was irrigated and it is no tree here is a kind of a berm made by the state of andalusia when this road was made uh, the clay was deposited here on the side. 
So uh, for me to plant trees in this clay uh, leads to root rot and uh, the more it wilted the more I watered it and then I took me some time to realize what I'm doing wrong. I planted a uh, hundred eucalyptus nitens here seven survived uh, none on this clay berm but only here where the clay was not deposited this is a beautiful example one here's growth beautiful tree I'm not into the fear of fire hazards and taking over the land and um, I think I have more experience and it's better educated than living with that fear. So don't plant new trees in clay soil. It doesn't grow. Therefore, we have made a lot of swales and we planted the trees on the berms of the swales where is a very good drainage and it works extremely well. What didn't work either was we tried to see this flat part of the land with alfalfa and rye, and oats, wheat, but nothing came of it. This is the second year there has been no animals on this farm, grazing animals. So uh, before a lot of nettles and thistles used to grow here because the animals would just graze on the nice stuff but now the nice stuff they had time to germinate and grow here we have the wild mustard and a lot of growth what shall i do this should be managed i am inclined not to have animals and then buy feed i know many people need to do that but my preference is not to make the feed suppliers rich but myself if i cannot grow the food for my animals then perhaps I have to wait a bit and uh, make a better plan. I lived in a Mediterranean climate for 20 years before I came to Spain then I lived here for another 20 years in the Mediterranean climate before I came to this farm. And still it was a shock to me to realize there are two dormant and two growth seasons within one year. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that concept, how to extend the growth in uh, the time, this spring, time into summer this year we will try uh, some shade nets high quality shade nets and then um, in winter we have the greenhouse but uh, irrigation is an interesting thing 
I've learned from Steve today that why not irrigate during winter? Now, uh, that makes a lot of sense. So, what about irrigation into this forest area, the higher part of the land during winter? It will just seep lower because the infiltration is just a meter, meter twenty and uh, it's not enough for these trees and these plants the pond is already doing that it was a big process in a week's time the level dropped two centimeters it's not too bad When we planted the trees on the berms, we had a 99% success. So the drainage is there, the moisture is there, deeper topsoil, so it works well. The biggest wrong, didn't go so well, was this greenhouse and this cuttings propagation uh, setup. This plastic tunnel is not a good thing. Got blown away. It goes up to 50 degrees Celsius even in winter when you keep it closed. It goes to minus in the night even if I have lots of tanks with water in it. And uh, to keep cuttings, prevent them from drying out here in the sandbox, extremely labor intensive. I always said that only when I can run a proper propagation setup with a greenhouse and uh, only then I can let go of my apprentice label, name tag and uh, call myself a farmer but it will come I will investigate more and take my time. I didn't know it takes two years for a cutting to mature to be transplanted. I wanted to transplant them after one year and uh, a huge failure rate but uh, we have learned a lot. The next thing, the last one is reading, studying, getting experts is no replacement for own experience. I'm a person who I do first and then I wonder about what it is. Although I do do a lot of study and research and listen to people and speak to the neighbors and but in the end I have to let it go through my own soul. I cannot depend on old ways. Yes, there is a lot of value, but I have to walk in my own light. Vetiver here on the dam wall, if it has a deep root system, it can have one of six meters. It makes the dam wall porous and uh, that can lead to leakage. But on the other hand, if I uh, have the clay soil and it dries out, it also cracks. 
irrespective of the clay you have. It takes a long time to seal the pond. So uh, what I'm trying to say is just do it. Do what you have to do. Live your story. And uh, that we have done well. Um, sometimes it borders on the arrogance. But uh, I prefer that label than to be fearful in what I'm doing. Beautiful day in paradise, my paradise. I want to plant and let things grow, harvest, eat from the land. Hopefully we can have some animals in the near future. Till next time. Goodbye.